Hello and welcome back to Rocky Desert. My name is Matrice and well, we're going on where we left the last episode. Well, I did a little bit extra, but you'll see that in a few minutes. As you can see, I built... I started building a factory around these two gigantic monsters. Uh, we left a little square on the left side where the bells are going up and I also well left a little stairway section here but well we kind of ran into a problem we're out of resources and a little secret I'm out of resources almost every time so I've already been walking this is this is the most annoying thing about the game getting these stairwells to do as I want them to do but well I'll have to mm, that's not what I want that's not what I want so the only way to do that is making a little box but I'm going to do that in a few minutes because I'm out of resources I need more concrete so I build it a little bit wrong there so I need a little bit more concrete, I need a little more steel plates because I got only 13 concrete left. And as you might guess, I already walked or drove a lot of times to this remote position that I was getting a little bit tired. Everything is slowly stacking up, so as you can see we're already stacking up with the... Uh, fuel the plastic and rubber and as you can see we're not that much uses anymore but well I still need a lot of resources so I built this thing this is at the moment the fastest way to travel at least as as I know if you know a faster way to travel tell me and well the train is not on my release yet so uh, I don't have the train to my to my position I can cannot use that one so that wouldn't be a fair one to say that I should use the train or the Explorer because well I'm not in the experimental build and as I'm recording this that build has not been released yet but this this is pretty fast because normally this would take me at least a minute or two to walk and now it's like 30 40 seconds I guess yeah I think that's about it still need to cut down that tree so I'm not sure if we're going to keep this but well it's a handy feature but you do need to break you to break at the end because it does hurt if you fly a little bit too high and I don't have a jetpack yet, so well. Uh, we need a little bit more concrete, and oh, the concrete is in that one. So let's get ourselves a little bit more concrete. I'm going to place back the. The steel beams I used to make that uh, the, that level four MK4 belt. So yeah, as you can see, we're totally out of uh, MK2, and it's not producing as fast as I want. So so once we get the power issue fixed, we're going to take a look around the factory. We need to fix the cement. Uh, settings and uh, we kind of need to get every resource up here or we may be even going to make a central storage on top of this we also will have a lot of space down here but then the rock will still be in the way so we have to think about that uh, well on top of here we can make a lot of assemblers I guess I guess we can do that so yeah we got a lot of space left but some things need to be 
need to get more production because well as you can see the steel beams are quite stacked up but the copper is not so let's get back to the oil refinery section oh, oh, that wasn't a smart idea I really need to get myself some parachutes because that happens often all right so let's walk the fast way So I guess once we get the the power up and running and build the power elevator, we kind of need to see what is going on everywhere and what do we need to expand. Because in the end, we are going to need every resources we get. That that definitely a fact. Don't need to water border, and I still don't know if I press this base or the shift button to go faster if it's really gonna make me go faster because I don't think so but this is me not going with the shift and the beginning part is me using the shift button oh shoot and I forgot to take the plates with me all right that's kind of annoying so this is me walking with the shift button as you can see my hands are going quite rapidly and this is me not moving the ship button so I I don't think there's different if you do think there's different put it in the comment down below because well I would re really like to know what would you like to prefer to get in the game because that's kind of interesting and if you already got the game what do you think is the hardest part in this game we haven't done the exploring yet but I kind of feel like I need a jetpack and some health packs to to go exploring also the inventory bar that's going to be in the next update makes you makes it possible for you to switch between weapons and that kind of stuff also pretty interesting I took the wrong and as you can see we, we definitely need to do something about the copper as well but then we need to fix a lot of problems as you can see the steel plates are already not backing up as well so sometimes you just need to fix the basic resources first uh, let's see anything we can drop we don't need to circus right now I do need a lot of plates was that yeah, I don't need one plate I want fill up short let's see yes check check and we can dump that one as well because we don't need leaves all right so Let's see, because, yeah, we definitely need to do something about the steel plates as well. As you can see, that production isn't going that well. Although, I wonder if it's because of the ore production. That's kind of interesting, because... For the first time, no, as you can see, one coming in here. All right, we could. Oh. Didn't think about that. And I don't have that much plates as well. Mm, that wasn't a smart move. Anything I can drop because I really need a little bit of space. Oh, I don't want to lose the last fuel. Well, these iron rods will have to go. Uh, 
Because I have a feeling that... That once you've upgraded... Upgraded a lot... Why do I even have a splitter between that? Oh yeah, now I know. Alright. So now that's all going pretty fast. Let's see if this is doing better. Let's see, let's see. This one is no no man. Thirty two percent. So we upgraded it all, so it should go a little bit faster now. Oh now I know why I needed to to circuit boards. Oh my god. Totally forgot about that. So this one is stacking up, and that's a good thing. Now I need to make the circuits again. Uh, do we still have plastic? Yes, we do. Need to make 10 circuits again because that was something we needed for the fuel generator. Oh my god, totally forgot about that. Now I can only make 5. Oh. Uh, well, we don't need that. Now I need to get to plastic again. Oh my god, that was one crappy mistake. But as you can see, we need to local localize all kind of small issues in the factory. They're not big issues, and we got plenty of room for expansion. Uh, I think it's... no, it's that one. So that is definitely something we can do. Um, and I also kind of want to walk between the stuff like this. This is neat. I can be able to walk beneath it. But well, we need to do some decoration stuff eventually. Alright, now we're at least ready to get back. Motors only, well, was thinking about doing another level of fuel generators, but this will be it for now. Alright, so if you start at the other position, like the first basic position, I, I also want to try the last position it's all in one big map if you didn't know that and in the next release there's also going to be a radio tower so we can or I can kind of show you the map and where I find stuff that makes it a lot easier all right Uh, no, not too far. Alright. So, I kind of need a uh, power as well in this thing. Oh, great. Now I don't have iron rods. <laughs> oh my god, that that's kind of shameful. What's the nearest iron deposit? Is there anyone near me? None. That's kind of scary. 1700. There is none. Oh, oh my god. Alright, do I need those? I need Iron Ross as well. Oh my god, this is. This is horrible. Hmm. 
So, getting your resources traded out is kind of important. Because now they have to walk all the way back. Ooh, you can see it now. It's a clear night. This is definitely a little bit of waste of time, but I hope you guys enjoy me walking down this stairway. With the power issues in the last episode, I also shut down the Caterium uh, factory because, well, I kind of not use it. I only use it to get the blade runners and that was kind of it. If you want to know how and where to find the Caterium, check out my video on uh, how to find Caterium in Satisfactory. It's quite educating. It's not a long video, but it will show you two locations from every standpoint where you can start. And that way it's easy for you to find the Caterium. Alright, now we need some Ross, and that's going to be tough. So, what are we going to do? I think I'm just going to... Because I got no spare rods. No, nowhere. I totally, I was totally out of this. Oh, this is kind of amazing. Alright. Going to get me some. Don't need those. But I should be careful now, not throwing away stuff I do need. But at least we got 100 backlog again. Now I'm kind of going to make the iron rust myself because it's harder to find them in my factory because we haven't fixed that problem yet. Uh, let's see, iron rust can make two. Not enough space in my inventory. Well, I don't need that plastic. And as you can see, making iron rods goes pretty, pretty fast. You hold on the crab button to craft, the right button to add to the do list. Well, I do need to do this, but. I need to rush now, and as you can see, that goes pretty fast, so we'll just have to wait a few seconds until it's all done. And then we're finally going to start in the factory. Man, it's already, already halfway the video. So, as you can see, a little bit of preparation is also something I need to work on. All right, now we have everything to start building on the factory. Man, that was not so funny. When we get the power up and running, we can definitely tune up some machines, make them work faster. Especially the ones that are making the stuff that's kind of rare and I don't have enough space that's kind of this assembly second floor stuff because resources I can expand easily and I'm definitely going to do that like we did with the concrete and the iron rod section that will be done as well we're going to build a new iron rod section that I showed you in the tour and well damn we're finally getting here All right, first thing first, this is, this is so annoying. Why does it have to go in? Well, I am going to do it a little bit cheeky way because these things are kind of annoying. And then that way. And one this way. 
So if you ever wonder how people get stuff in certain positions, this is kind of the cheaty way. Oh, I already made a mistake because I was going to make it only two. So we're going to make that this way. So this is kind of the way if you want to trick the system if it doesn't want to let you do things you want to do. And so there are a lot of ways to cheat the system. And wait, ways to build around it. All right. this way at least we can get to the second floor because I also need to get the power to the second floor and don't know how to do that yet but we'll figure that one out eventually it's not the main problem I think so have you ever cheated the factorio system oh, well let me know in the comment around and uh, in the comment down below because I want to know every ways to cheat the system. Damn, this is a high factory. I didn't expect it to be this big. I hope they build in like elevators for people as well. And not, I don't mean a jumping pass because they kind of get you killed. And well. Jumping pass are my favorite thing in this game. Alright, we're almost there. And one more turn around, I think, then we'll be at the top. Oh, going to be close. Uh, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> we need one more. Oh my god. This is kind of funny. Uh, turn around. Sometimes I don't get the system. I need to go one up. And do kind of... No, it needs to be this one because else I cannot walk. And I think I'm going to do it this way because, well, we're going to build a wall anyway. This, because we're going to go one more level up. Alright, now I kind of need to make all the walls go up. And I normally do it from that position. Oh my god. I was almost going in my mic. It happens when you fall down. Right now, let's do the walls. The walls. I wonder what you guys think of this way of uh, building a power factory. If you don't get much pace, you need to go up. That's what I always say. Because in the sky, there's plenty of space left. And as this game doesn't have an underground system, you cannot go down. Kind of pity because that would be fun as well. Going underground, building some kind of cave system. Tell me if you would like that in the game to be able to go under the maps. I don't think they'll ever going to implement because that would definitely change the whole system. Is that the right one? Yes, it was. Alright, so that's done. Now building some more floor foundations. Then that's all done as well. And I wonder. 
not going to be able to see that. How I place this one. The entrance needs to be... Well, this does need... The only way to make the power go out on a nice way... Can we go do it? Yeah, we can do that. This way. Now, let's see. Build a power cable just in between. Hmm. Not quite sure if we can build it in between. That one's going to go there. Alright. Now the last thing we need to do is kind of get these babies to work. And then we can go work on the second floor. I wonder if it is possible to do it this far. But we'll see. We'll see. Eh, it's not curved right. Should have tested that first. See if we can make that steep. Yeah, we can. Alright, that's nice. Now, the last thing we need to know if we can get the splitter and if it's possible to get like this curve. Oh, yes, we can. Damn, this is nice. This definitely looks nice. Alright. Uh, now, I need the one central power. Hook these babies up. Let's see. Insert fuel. Why is the fuel not... Oh, it needs the other fuel. Oh, man. I didn't expect that one. Alright. Uh, right, it, it's needing the other fuel. It needs the end product, so I got a lot of... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, great. There it goes. There it goes. Well, at least we now can see how I placed it. As you can see, I placed it exactly one over the top, so... Oh. And one in that corner. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get these two aligned. And then we need to find a way to get a fuel to this, these babies, because I was expecting something else. Alright, so this one's... I can better make uh, some walls first, that way I know I'm not going over it. And then we are going to... I guess this is going to be kind of it. Then the other one going to be aligned. A little bit. Well, oh, I don't have cables. All right. Well, we at least got one down, and I kind of want to keep the cables to power it up. All right. Now, as we cannot get fuel from this, I kind of want to know. It's all right. It's this one. Hmm. It's the middle one. This is kind of annoying because it's exactly at line. 
well, we should be able to fix this problem. That's going to be a sweet way. Uh, is there a better way? Tink, 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 tink. Uh, I do think there's a better way. Alright, for the better way we need that one goes there. We need this. I need a splitter. No, that's not nice. That's not, not a nice way. So that's not going to be the way. Alright, so that's definitely not going to be the way. I do think it's going to be this way. And... Yeah, well... Uh, it's not the nicest way to do this, but it's kind of the only way. At the moment, I think that's going to be... A oh man, I need to go to the water. I don't want to go to the water. Alright. I do have an idea. Well, we're going to go with the easy sleazy way for now. And this is kind of the easy sleazy way because, well, we're almost at the end of this video. And I need, I want this to be running at the end of this video. I definitely want it. But it needs to go around this. Let's see if we can. Nope, as I was expecting. Can I do it that way? Nope, that's also not going to work. You can play the poles. Alright, well, we have to do it a little bit in a way I don't like it, but. It's for now the only way. I know how to do it. This is kind of funny. I cannot place it in a straight curve. Oh my god, this is looking horrible. But, well, at least it's going to work. And I don't have that much operational at the first at this episode but well I'm going to work on it and going to make it perfect but I need to think how I don't know how but that will come in the end if you got some great tips leave it in the comment down below all right not connected well we can fix that and I guess in the next episode I'm going to show you, oh no, it's going to be in the factory tour, what we've done with this thing, with this baby. As you can see, I'm already getting a lot of power. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you all at the next build or at the factory tour. See you soon.